This question is saying that you need $2,000 to buy a new stereo. So we're going to need $2,000. And it says that you have $800 to invest today. And then they ask how long is it going to take for the $800 to grow to $2,000 if you're investing at 5% compounded annually. So they're asking how many years is it going to take if you invest at 5% compounded annually. Well, you can just do this in your financial calculator. This is just a simple single cash flow calculation. So our present value is going to be the amount we invest, this $800. But because we're investing this $800, that is a cash outflow for us. That's going to be a negative cash flow. So be careful with your negatives and positives in this question. So initially, we have to give $800. So we are investing that. We're investing it at 5% every year. So that's going to be our I. The future value, well, the future value, we have to get to $2,000. And because we are going to get that money from our investment, that's going to be a positive cash flow. Even though after we get it, we're going to spend it on the stereo, spending it on the stereo is not part of this timeline here. This just represents the investment. So initially, we're investing the $800. That's a negative cash flow. And then that $800 is going to grow to $2,000 and we're going to get that $2,000. And then what we do with that $2,000 after is irrelevant. So that there is a positive uh, cash flow. Uh, what else is there? The PMT. Well, notice how this is just a single cash flow calculation. So there's no other cash flows that are happening in between. So PMT is zero and we are solving for that n. So when you compute that n in your calculator, you would end up getting 18.78, and that is 18.78 years, because the interest rate that we input it was an annual rate, so the periods are gonna be annual as well. It takes 18.78 years for you to buy this stereo.